Hi, I'm Phil Frisbee, Public Information Officer, Caltrans District 1. The Willits Bypass Project is using a number of different techniques in its construction. And one which is getting a lot of attention from the, from the public is the use of wick drains. We produced this video to address concerns that we've heard from the public about wick drains. And we're going to explain what wick drains are and address some of these concerns. The most common engineering application for wick drains is to help accelerate the settlement rate of water saturated soils such as the clay found in this area. Wick drains are a proactive engineering tool used to shorten the time it takes for a construction project to settle. Wick drains kind of look like a piece of flattened fire hose and they've been used since the early 20th century. Modern wick drains are typically a, a plastic corrugated sheet and they're about four inches wide, about an eighth of an inch thick, and they're covered with this piece of fabric which helps keep them from getting clogged up with silt when they're in use. My name is Ben Barnes. I'm a transportation engineer for Caltrans. I work in the Office of Geotechnical Design. The clay soils where we're putting the bypass takes a long time to settle. We calculated a settlement period of about two to ten years. The wick drains help speed up that process. It reduces it to about six months. Will the wick drains lower the water table? No, the wick drains will not have any effect on the groundwater table. The wick drains don't pump water out of the ground. They simply allow water that's in the clay um, under the embankment loading to be squeezed out into the wick drains where they can move uh, vertically up or down and dissipate either into the surrounding soil or at the surface. Caltrans uh, wick drain projects in the past, uh, we haven't seen any effect on the groundwater table. What will happen to the water the wick drains bring to the surface? Any water that makes it to the surface, we have a collection system that will collect the water. Um, it can be treated if necessary and then can be used on other portions of the project such as dust control. Wick drains are typically installed with a machine called a stitcher, which pushes them straight into the ground. Most wick drain applications are buried and not visible at all after they are installed and covered with fill. For the Willis Bypass Project, the use of wick drains will be limited to the section north of the viaduct, which includes the northern interchange. Will drilling contaminate the groundwater? The wick drains will not contaminate the groundwater. The wick drains are pushed into the ground, they're not drilled. There are no confined aquifers out there, it's an open aquifer system, so we're not pushing the wicks through a confined aquifer, so there's no cross-contamination possible. Will installing the wick drains be noisy like driving piles? Installation of the wick drains will not be noisy. The wick drains are not driven like piles, they're pushed into the ground so there's not much noise involved. The only noise would be just the engine of the installation rig. What geotechnical investigations were conducted? The geotechnical investigation we did was we did a thorough investigation. We did borings, lab testing, and analysis to determine the settlement period. How do you know how many wick drains are needed? The number of wick drains calculated was done by the spacing of the wick drain uh, dictates how long the settlement period is. So the closer the spacing of the wick drains, the shorter the settlement period, but also in, you have an increased cost because you have more wick drains. So it was a balance between wick drains, uh, settlement period and cost. Will the wick drains have a negative impact on the existing aquifer? The wick drains will not have a negative effect on the existing aquifer. The water from the wick drains that makes it to the surface is collected in a collection system where it is treated if necessary and it can be used on other portions of the project such as uh, dust control. The Willis Bypass project has gone through significant uh, study and analysis with sustainability in mind. Caltrans invites you to take a deeper look into the work that we've done in developing this project. For the latest information on Willis Bypass Project News, please visit willetsbypass.wordpress.com.